Hello and welcome to a short review of an forgotten cult classic. The name of the game is Alien Trilogy and was released in 1996 on PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn and later for MS-DOS. For me, the first person shooter is one of the best Alien games ever made and I had an extremely fantastic time playing it back in the day. Be aware of your team's mission. As the player, you take control of the famous character of the Alien franchise, Lieutenant Ripley, embodied by the actress Sigourney Weaver. While she was on a hide and seek run in the first part and definitely inferior by the alien organism, the Xenomorph, she took over the control as a real badass in part 2 and is one of the toughest female characters ever created in cinema history. Lieutenant Ripley showed her alien wipeout skills especially in the end of part 2 where she had to save Newt, the small girl, which was captured by the bloodthirsty creatures. With her armored battlefield systems, the M41A Pulse Rifle, one of the greatest and most iconic movie guns based and created on the famous Thompson M1A1, a newer version of the famous Tommy gun, she managed to erase the entire hive and escaped to kill the overpowered queen later due to the help of the characteristic power loader. In Alien Trilogy you are not the classical victim of the Xenomorphs, you don't have to run away and play hide and seek with them because you are armed with several weapons. You start with an automatic pistol and you will later get more weapons like the shotgun, the pulse rifle, the tremendous smart gun and of course the characteristic flamethrower to get rid of the bugs in 30 levels. If you went out of ammo you will still have the ability to use the pistol with one bullet in it at a time. Because you don't have a melee attack you will be able to defend yourself with that feature. That sounds fair and maybe even overpowered but believe me you can kill the facehuggers without difficulties but if you get attacked by a drone or even a warrior you will need a lot of bullets to drop the enemies. The pistol is extremely weak to bigger opponents. Because ammo can be rare, especially on higher difficulties, this can be your end if you go out of ammo and meet a big sized xenomorph. This feature also gives you the constant awareness to take care of your stock and make you every bullet count. The difficulty is high, especially in the later maps and the boss fights can be very persistent. From the enemy stand you have a good variety and besides the famous creatures in all forms like eggs, facehugger, chestbursters, runners, sentries and warriors, you also get the famous queen and fight against Yutani's human guards, mercenaries and soldiers and even synthetics like Ash and Bishop from the movies. The levels are diverse in design and as a fan you will get reminded a lot on the movie sceneries. But the game itself has not a lot in common with them depending on the story. You just get very few cutscenes and the plot is mainly told in a text briefing before you enter a map. But even Alien Trilogy is a single player experience. Besides the later DOS version, which got even a multiplayer part, the game itself is not story focused, but rather more into action and gameplay. The controls are my biggest concerns in this game due to modern standards. The fact that you look around and move on the same D-pad, which was in a lot of games due to the missing possibilities back in the day, make you walk like a drunk person sometimes and can get you easily killed while trying to outmaneuver the hordes of enemies. Of course you got the shoulder bumpers for left and right strafing, 
but this concept is truly outdated and don't feel as fluently as it should be. You will definitely get killed depending on these controls. But besides that critic, I can't complain at this game even today. The graphics, although they are very pixelated, are still pleasant to watch and the music is one of the best made for a video game that gives you chills while playing and create a scary atmosphere. Also the weapon sounds are fantastic depending on their age. The mission design is nothing spectacular and consists of collecting stuff like batteries to open doors, which is similar to the keys in other games, and collecting dog tags. Then you are going to leave the section. That's a mission in a nutshell. A nice feature is that the enemy bodies will lay dead in the levels and you can even be hurt by the acid pools if you step on them. You also can collect a shoulder lamp like the Colonial Marines had in part 2 and can use it in darker environments. Back in the day the German version was censored and all the humans and the humanoid characters were changed to aliens. So actually in the German version you could even kill more aliens. The aliens lost their blood like in the US version. If you are an alien and nostalgic fan you should give this game a try, even today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.